parents of Haas Hall students reached out to us about being concerned for driver and student safety around the school. They didn't want to go on camera because of the backlash that this story could bring. But KWA's investigation uncovered a significant problem. And we hope our story provides a solution in the near future. The three o'clock traffic is it's it's bad between those two two sides you have like this little spot you have to go through and I drive an SUV so it, it, it's scary you're like oh let's see if I make it it's a battle through traffic anytime school lets out for restaurant worker Karima Lopez I work down the road and um, I can tell you just turning left or right is really bad they need to put a stoplight or, or Something has to happen there because if they don't fix it within a matter of time, someone's going to end up getting hurt. It takes a traffic study to try and figure that out. We know that's a difficult area to get out of. KNWA strapped a GoPro to the front of an unmarked vehicle and drove through traffic several times. And in just the short time we were there, we had a few close calls and the problem was obvious. Haas Hall doesn't offer transportation, which means more kids are walking home from school. It's coupled with not enough parking or a designated pickup location, resulting in a potential danger zone for kids. They don't have enough parking because I know the owner here used to let them borrow the parking lot here. And then um, they bought that other place down there and I don't know what they're doing. So it, they're working on parking. I know that. The school declined our interview requests, but sent us this statement, quote, Haas Hall Academy takes the safety of our school community seriously. We have doubled the size of our parking area this year in response to parent questions. School administration is working with the city for an illuminated notification system to improve school zone signage. Haas Hall is in fact working with the mayor's office on better signage, but Fayetteville City Engineer says he's never heard from Haas Hall. I have not been contacted specifically about uh, from Haas Hall about any kind of traffic study or, or solutions um, in the area of Haas Hall. Even with a traffic study, the city says a stoplight near the front of the school may not be possible. In the evenings, the traffic is backed up completely past that curve and further to the east. A stoplight there, even if it turned green, might not have any place for you to go. Haas Hall recently installed school zone signs but student safety is still a concern. I mean, there's a lot of kids walking and, you know, being teenagers, they don't really understand it. There's like a group of them walking and people are trying to maneuver and, and get out. They don't really respect the pedestrians walking, you know, so either need to add more sidewalk or more pedestrian stuff or the stoplight would just be wonderful, honestly. The Fayetteville Transportation Department did tell us the city plans to add another outlet to Front Street in the future where Haas Hall is located. In studio, Erica Hall, KNWA, Northwest Arkansas News.